everyone, and thank you for joining us for another Strong Long Year class on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. My name is Tiffany McDaniel, and I am here today with Annette Perry, and she's going to be teaching our Quick Bites class. Super excited. Welcome, Annette. You're on mute. Of course, of course. Can everybody hear me okay? I have a little background noise. Yep. Make sure I'm clear. Okay. So welcome everybody. Uh, thank you for having me again. Today for Quick Bites, we're going to be doing a turmeric tea, also known as golden milk tea. And I'm going to go over the ingredients first so that if anyone wants to prepare at home, you can um, gather everything while I talk about the ingredients. So first, you're going to need um, ground turmeric. In the camera, there we go. Okay, and any milk of your choice. I either use coconut milk in the can or um, almond breeze. Natural milks are best because they absorb the spices better if you choose to use spice. And you're gonna want to have a sweetener, sugar, uh, maple syrup, honey, agave, whatever is your sweetener of choice. And Optional, black pepper, if you can um, grind it fresh is best, but if you have a grinder attached, great. Cardamom, powdered ginger, or fresh crushed ginger if you have it. You can also add cinnamon. Um, I also like to add um, star anise, but this you would have to prepare ahead of time because you need to boil, boil it first to really extract what you need. Otherwise, it would just take too long to make the tea and you would lose a lot of the nutritional content. So while um, everyone's doing that, give me one second. You need it. Uh -uh. <laughs> so this is a great anti-inflammatory tea. Uh, as you know, most of the ingredients run in that um, same realm of being anti-inflammatory and providing great antioxidants. Lots of wonderful properties, including lowering blood pressure, um, great for digestion, nausea if you have diarrhea, um, very soothing, depending on the type of milk you choose. Um, great for adding calories in a tea. In particular, the canned coconut milk, very high in unsaturated fat, can give you up to 400 extra calories, depending on how much you drink. I particularly like this when I'm feeling um, just maybe not having an appetite, or maybe I've been sick for a little while and I haven't eaten much and I don't want to pack on a lot of heavy solid food. I might have my turmeric tea with the coconut milk and I'll get, you know, a little bit of fat without overburdening my body with something heavy that it's not gonna absorb right away. This, uh, it'll at least break down slower and give your body the nutrients it needs. Um, today I'm going to be using the almond breeze, but I did go ahead and prepare some already with the coconut milk. As you can see, it's a lot thicker than you would have with the almond breeze. And bring it a little closer, you can see the color. And that's our golden turmeric milk. As you can see, the spices in the bottom. I'm going to talk about two different ways of making this tea. Um, one, which I will do for you guys will be with the dry spices. And this is with making a paste, which I also pre-made. The difference in making with the dry spices versus the paste is that with the paste, of course, you same spices, but you're gonna be adding water and 
boiling that down until it, you have your pace so that you just basically have it on hand and everything gets a chance to really open up. All the flavors get to mix before you put it into a tea. And then once you have it in this state, you can just take like a quarter teaspoon, teaspoon and drop it in your hot milk, even hot water if you choose. But this, this will probably last me months. And I won't have, it won't take me nearly as long. This process can take maybe 20 minutes depending on the milk you use because you don't want to boil the milk because you're gonna start to cook away some of the fat. So it's gonna take you some time to just simmer on low to allow the spices time to really open up and get into the milk. So to start, I'm going to my measuring spoons. Now everything um, with, with any recipe, make sure the medications you're taking um, it's okay. Maybe you want to check with your nutritionist or your doctor. Because like I said, um, this can lower blood pressure, among other things. So you need to make sure that anything you're taking doesn't interfere with that. For some reason, I have some kind of green screen effect going on. <laughs> Give me a second. See what's going on there. Okay. I have no green screen. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> so generally, you're, like I said, the biggest part of this tea is your milk and the turmeric. Everything else is the taste. And it, and it adds those extra benefits, depending on the spice you choose. So you're going to want to do a tablespoon of your turmeric and either a full serving, which would be um, a cup, of your either coconut milk or any other milk, um, depending on how much you want. Coconut milk is it's a very uh, strong flavor. And like I said, it's very thick. So if you're not planning to maybe drink this much or you don't have anyone to share with, maybe you wanna do half a can. Um, Cause I feel like a little goes a long way. This, how much you see that's gone is about as much as I could take of it cause it's so heavy especially if you haven't eaten for a while, it can be too much to have a full serving. Just gonna get a measuring spoon. Now because I'm gonna use the almond milk for this recipe, I'm gonna use um, a little less because it's, it's uh, a lot more water than what you have with the coconut milk and oil. If you wanted to add a bit more fat to your milk, you can always add maybe a, a tablespoon of another oil, like the coconut oil itself, or even like an, an almond oil, if you are okay with that flavor. I hope you guys can still hear me. It's raining pretty hard over here. It's just really loud. I'm gonna do about a cup of the almond milk. I'm going to drop half a teaspoon of the turmeric. Just keep in mind, um, if you have an extra dish, glass preferred laying around, uh, use that to put your spoon or anything that touches turmeric in because turmeric stains really bad. So if you have light counters, light clothes, try and keep everything in glass and using metal um, silverware. Now I like a lot of bite in mine and I choose a lot of black pepper and I like to use the crushed ginger instead of the powder. I'm gonna mash that a bit more to make sure it really dissolves as much as possible so I can get all that heat out of there. I'm gonna start my low flame. Now I'm just gonna dump all my half teaspoons of everything in there. 
And of course, if you're, you don't like pepper really, you don't like ginger really, you don't need to add it. It is not required. Like I said, the rest of the spices are to taste. A cardamom, not my favorite flavor, but I do feel the benefits. So I'm actually just gonna put a pinch. I had to close my window because I think water is coming in. Did not expect that today. All right. For the pepper, gonna actually measure that out at a quarter teaspoon. Again, I like the bite. So that paired with the ginger uh, is gonna be really spicy. And that combination for me really opens up uh, the pores and helps that mucus start to drain. Earlier, I was saying like, you know, it's that season, all the kids are getting sick. So, you know, I got something from a little one, feeling a little congested. So this is gonna help me out. I'm gonna take my whisk and start to give that a little stir. My, again, my flame is on the lowest possible setting. I'm going to add about a quarter to a half teaspoon of the cinnamon. And so now I'm just waiting for this to kind of heat, give everything a chance to really dissolve and absorb the milk. You can let that kind of just sit, periodically stirring. Again, you just want a simmer. If it starts to get to a boiling point, immediately turn it off. You should not have um, any kind of scorch marks in your pot. So, Speaking on the paste again, when you have the paste versus kind of when you have the spice, your paste is already at a point where it will dissolve easier. You won't have as much of the spicing at the bottom. I also have um, agave, which I see that kind of runs to the bottom if you don't shake it up or drink it right away. Your turmeric paste can be stored in the fridge really pouring out there. <laughs> it can be stored in the fridge for as long as you want. It's all, it's all dry spices and water. So you don't have to worry about anything uh, getting moldy or you know throwing an expiration date on it. Ideally, um, depending on how much you want to have stored and how fast you're going to use it, you would change your amount of ingredients. This, for this particular uh, paste, I did about four times the amount that I'm using today. For everything, so I started with four tablespoons of the turmeric and then added everything else to taste. And I recommend that once you've gotten the dry spice down and you have your personal formula or recipe that you like, that's what you use to make your paste because it'll that's basically your standard. Little foam coming on, I think. Now because I'm using the almond milk, it's heating a lot faster. It's because it's mostly water and it's not as heavy as the coconut milk and it doesn't have as much oil. So it's cooking a lot faster than the other milks might. I would also say if you're just feeling like you need just a little bit of a, I don't know, a refresher, when it comes to just kind of opening up your senses, you can inhale that steam, all good stuff. I find that when I use the um, any star and the cinnamon in higher amounts, the smell is just amazing. And that natural sweet aromatic smell that the star gives off, it just kind of, you, you end up watching your tea, basically. Just because you're sitting there sniffing it, I am good to go. 
I'm just gonna let this cool. Again, there, there was a point where um, I had an issue with my liver. And this was one of the things with the coconut milk that really helped me because I hadn't eaten for a long period of time because I just couldn't. The, the issues I was having and the pain I was having was just making it impossible for me to eat. So this tea pretty much just about saved my life because I was not getting calories in. I was losing a lot of weight. Um, all I could really drink was coconut water, which was very helpful in the same way. But this was really aiding my body into having something to keep it going because of all the nutrients that was in it. Just from the coconut milk alone, but all the, all the other things added to it really helped to dull that pain that I was having with my liver. And it is said that between turmeric, because a lot of uh, people use it in a lot of cooking, that they have that kind of effect. And it's depending on what you have it in. But again, we check with your doctor because we don't want anything to have an adverse reaction. And of course, I wanna say um, small amounts because like I said, it is strong. Anything in excess is gonna be an issue. You know, let yourself have maybe a small teacup, see how it does for your body with these particular blends of spices. Um, there are a few I haven't tried before. I've tried before today, but when I first made this tea, uh, cardamom was not part of it. It took me time to develop a taste for that. Um, and a lot will destroy your tea. It will just make you nauseated and want to throw it up. So, you know, give yourself time, make a small amount, try it out first. Long before you get to the point of making a paste, you know, try your spices. You may need to take something out, put something else in. Um, if you have something that you particularly feel does you well, that you want to add to the tea that you think would help, give it a shot in a small amount. So I'm going to take mine out and put it in a cup with my sweetener. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to get honey for this one. If mine looks a little chunky, it's because those um, pieces of ginger that I put in mine, but I don't mind it. Normally, I would strain it off, but it doesn't bother me. I'll eat it. I, I love ginger. Of course, just to, to taste, don't go overboard, especially if you have issues with um, your blood sugar. It's natural, but it's still sweet. Are you serious? Now, of course, this is tea. You want to drink it hot, especially if you're using the coconut milk. Because once that cools, it starts to congeal a little bit and you get that film on top. No way, no. You're not going to like the tea if you drink it like that. Trust me. You also want to get it before all your spices kind of settle down and start, to, especially if you're using the dry spice, because your spices will start to kind of settle at the bottom. Now, if you are having your tea and it feels a bit gritty, maybe you need to put it back on, simmer a little bit longer. But this is essentially what your tea would come out as. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot and spicy. See, for me, my tea bites back. All that ginger and black pepper. It's actually really good. <laughs> 
Yeah. Does anyone have any questions? No, this is good. <laughs> I was out of um, I was out of my coconut milk, but um so I used my regular and this is a nice little latte. Yes. <laughs> A wonderful comfort drink. This is probably based on what's happening outside because I did want to go outside today. <laughs> That's not happening. Um, curl up on the couch, have your turmeric latte. <laughs> Netflix. Right? Yeah, definitely. The rain isn't here yet, but if it's over there, that means it's on its way. So thanks mm. for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's on its way. This is this is yummy, and I'm usually not a big fan of turmeric like that, but this is really good. Yeah, I feel like the other things help to balance it out because turmeric is very strong. Mm -hmm. um, I found that um, there was a time my daughter was sick, and I actually had her making it with me just to keep her kind of active, um, and it really helped her get over what she was going through at the time because it was I wasn't forcing her to eat. It was like, hey, have this tea. It was almost like having hot chocolate because uh, I gave it a little extra sweet and um, I whipped it a lot. So it had a lot of foam on top. So it was like mm, exciting. But yeah, but it was not with, you know, all the sugar and the cow milk that's going to make more mucus. It's doing the opposite thing and it's, it's healthy and it's still good for her and it tastes good. And I like the little bite with the from the ginger and the pepper that's really I love a spicy tea I'm like big on chai tea and stuff like that so this is like right up my alley Thanks. yeah ooh, I like this one I'm gonna have to make this again like correct <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely experiment it took me a while to get to um a place that gave me the balance I wanted, but now I see that I have the option of making like a light tea and then making almost a hot smoothie per se, because sometimes I just need that extra kind of boost in the day and I don't want a meal. I'll use the coconut milk and add my spices and then I can just take that and go. That's like something to just get me through a couple of hours through the day without having to have coffee. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's filling also. So I'm not, it's curbing my appetite, but it's giving me calories. So it's not like I'm losing out. And yeah. then on a, on a light day, I'm just, I just want to enjoy something different. That's not, you know, hot leaf juice. <laughs> have this with, the, with the lighter milk, with the almond milk. Or even with water, because now that I've made the paste, I can do the water and then it just depends on the sweetener because when you do it with the water, you got to taste more of the spices. So it, it's really hinging on what sweeteners you use. Awesome. But yeah, I will definitely try it with probably, I can go with either one, coconut milk or almond milk. That'd be good. Yeah, this reminds me of almost like, um, like I don't know if you had it, but the matcha latte, it has like that type of yes. smooth thickness to it. It's like perfection. I love my latte. I cannot make a good matcha latte. I just, I taste the matcha too much. And I'm like, <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, it takes a, it takes a minute to, uh, because if you put too little, it's just like, green milk or <laughs> you put too much it's, it's a bit it has that bitter yeah. <laughs> and like all the you know matches at the bottom and you taste that at the end just purely useless <laughs> but uh my I, I tried it with the powder uh-huh uh, have you ever tried with the powder yep that's how i usually make it okay yeah I'm, so I'm um you put a little of the matcha powder in, you mix that with water, but like just a little, just to get it dissolved up, mm. to dissolve the powder more, um, hot water. And 
Um, I like to have, you know, a type of milk. So I usually heat up milk, pour that on top and usually add a little agave or, or you can do honey, whichever, you know, sweetener you like and just mix it up. And I usually whisk it because that's the best way. Well, if you have a, if you have a flower, that's even better to mm. mix it that way. And that usually, um, that'll take away that, uh, you know, the bitterness at the bottom. And yeah, so I usually make the sweet milk before I pour it all, put it all together. So I'll put the agave mm -hmm. and hot milk, mix that up. So it's at the, you know, the perfect sweetness that I want it to be at. And then pour that on top of the, of your um, little uh, matcha water. And then mix that all up and yeah, it usually comes out really good. I've had it iced sometimes, or I like to make a boba tea, a boba matcha, a matcha latte with boba. Yeah. When is this class? <laughs> <laughs> I always learn when I come to teach. Thank you, Tiffany. Yes. And I'll be looking for that this spring. Yes. I, I will do a boba. I'll do a boba tea because it's like my favorite and I have like, you know, big doofy straws for it and all of that. And making the, making the boba isn't hard at all. I get the, um, I finally found um, boba that I really like that, uh, uh, I think I, I finished it, I don't have it. <laughs> but I will send you the, um, I'll send you the name of like the perfect one because they're pre-made pretty much. And all you have to do is just reboil it. And um, the trick with that is boil it in like sugar water. It doesn't have to be sugar, but it could be agave, whatever your sweetener is, like have that water already sweetened and then put your boba in. So it absorbs the sweet flavor mm -hmm. and it will be just, just spongy tasteless balls you want them to have a flavor of their own or you can even um add brown sugar to the water as it's boiling with the boba it only takes like five to ten minutes to get the boba your perfect texture so you know try them as you as you go after i would say after eight minutes try it because i like mine really squishy like really soft some people like it a little more a little more dense a little harder but um, yeah, the longer you leave it in and then let it sit. Don't just put it right into the, um, into the drink. You're gonna take another, you can either use that same water if it's sweet enough or um, put it into a container with a sweetened, with some type of sweetened syrup. So, um, you know, your agave with water or the brown sugar, brown sugar water mix leave it in there, let it cool down, and it also still absorbs that sweet flavor. Mm. And then when you're ready for your drink, you have your matcha drink. And when I make the matcha like that, when I'm doing it with the boba, I do a lot less um, sweetener because you don't want it to be overpowering sweet. It's very easy to make your matcha tea too sweet. So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'll do a little less of the agave for the tea because you, when you scoop in that uh, boba, you scoop in the, the juice with it also. So then mix it up and delish, delish. <laughs> that is an event. Yeah, it, it sounds like a lot, but <laughs> once you do it, it's, it's really not that bad. And the good thing is it'll save. So you can make like, you know, a couple of cups at once and just throw it in the fridge. And um, to bring it back to that softness, put the container in the microwave for like a minute and it'll soften the, bo the boba up again. Oh. Yep, so I like to make a nice little batch, go in the fridge, you know, use how much I'm gonna use for my drink and yeah, because it's expensive, like it adds up. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it adds up, so I'd rather yeah. just buy a pack do it myself. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to the event just, just for that yeah. alone. Like, and then I can control the flavors. Make mm -hmm. 
Yep, and you can make it with any type of any type of latte you want. It doesn't have to be matcha. It could be regular tea and milk or even a turmeric. You could put it in that if you wanted to. In my mind, because I have these chunks of ginger, I'm there. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm That's the, it's, I'm telling you, something else. That was I'm just a fatty at heart, and I just like creating, <laughs> creating new things because I get bored with food so easily. Like, I can't just eat the regular things. I'm like, ooh, I can add this to it. I wonder what this would taste like. Sometimes, most of the time it works. There have been times when I'm like, all right, maybe not that. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> yes, I didn't like that one. But. It's cool to try. It happens. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Have you heard about, um, and I know this is probably like earlier, Oh, no. Yeah, so this was newly introduced to me from uh, my nutritionist. Mm -hmm. I'm experimenting with it. Uh, it's, it's awesome. But it is a, um, I don't, I don't want to say a synthetic fat, but it's a fat that doesn't require enzymes and it can be put in a wide variety of things. You can cook with it, you can put it in smoothies, um, tea it up so heat doesn't bother it. But I was just interested if anyone like tried it with anything because I, I tasted it by itself. It's like, <laughs> I can only describe it as um, cornstarch. Because mm. it kind of just clumps and congeals. It doesn't have much of a flavor, unless you want to call cardboard a flavor. But I really do, um, I believe in what they're trying to do. And the ingredients were mostly um, lecithin, which doesn't bother me. It just doesn't taste good. So I'm trying to figure out ways to put used to it and see if it actually works for me. Mm. So if you ever come across it and you experiment with it, let me know. Ooh, I'll look into it. Maybe a baked good. That's what I was thinking too. Um, I think you can only use, how much is a scoop? You said it tastes like cardboard? Be, yeah, because I, the, the, the flavor is pretty strong. I mean, it's overpowering if you're putting it in something sweet. So... I don't think I, I have not been able to use the, the recommended amount successfully because it just tastes bad. So I try to use less and build my way to it. I did, I did get a lot of recipes that I'm going to give a shot. I think I even some macaroni and cheese on there. So we'll see how it works. All right. All right. Okay. I'm excited. And Kala. Ooh. And Vara Health. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm excited. I just yeah. I just got it like last week. Um, so I don't know how long it's been out, but it's the first time I'm hearing about it. <laughs> Same. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Keep me updated. <laughs> I'll be checking Instagram and all that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this was delicious. I would have put more, maybe a little more pepper in this one. Uh, so you like me. <laughs> no, because the spice is like yes. perfect. I put a lot of ginger in it because I'm big on ginger, the more the better. How do you feel about chai tea? I like chai tea. I don't make it much. I usually like buy it when I'm out because mm -hmm. um, just like that whole event Tiffany just explained. I feel like I need to do all of that to get it right, and I never do. So it's like I just buy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and my I husband did it like once it. with that that special whisk you was mentioning, mm -hmm. and he had like all those like um, mixing containers and stuff, and it was like all these dishes for one cup. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, it's like my Sorry. favorite, all time favorite. 
Like, you know, it has to be made right. Like, you know, it can't have it any other way. You can't skimp on it. It has to have the milk, the sugar. Like, you know, it has to be right. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit bougie that way. You got it from my sister. <laughs> yep, I'm exposing her again, comparing her tea. Like, no, when she makes tea, it's an experience. It's not just drinking tea. It's a whole spa treatment for your mouth. Like, you know, you got to prepare yourself for the experience of, <laughs> of tea oh. drinking. Like, she makes it a whole event. <laughs> what is a tea party? <laughs> <Too many. laughs> it, can do that. it could happen it can and will i have okay. too many like i have too many peas if i show <laughs> yeah she has a whole her whole kitchen like half of the kitchen is just tea <laughs> the other is like her soups because she has to have her her ramens and all that she got ramen, like, you know, she's like ready for the apocalypse when it comes to tea and ramen. <laughs> no, because like when I be staying over, like, you know, <laughs> there's always something there to eat. I just go there to eat. <laughs> like Tiffany's house is like the R&R place. <laughs> it's literally like going to a hotel and a spa. Like, you know, she just got like all the bath stuff, all the teas all the food like she got all the snacks the good snacks not the cheap ones the good snacks <laughs> i enjoy it's my guilty pleasure it is what it is i'm very big on self-care and i am very big on yeah that rain is definitely coming it just got so dark in here uh, <laughs> and i am really big on teas because it relaxes me i love like tea and a good movie and just snuggle up. I have a thousand blankets, like too many. My snuggies, my onesies. I like comfort. I'm just really big on comfort. So, and I, tea, it's my comfort. So. I think I part it. of it is from like, you know, growing up with CF, like, you know, we take like a huge care about like how we, you know, live. And like enjoying life, we really take it important. Like with birthdays, we go hard with like, you know, just everything. Like we take, we don't take life for granted at all. And I think that's like one of the things that we picked up for just like, you know, being a family with CF. So like, you know, that care and concern about life, like, you know, kind of like, you know, blend it over into like, you know, just how we take care of ourselves. We eat, <laughs> we eat in this family. Like, you know, we like that comfort food. Like, you know, it's like bringing the family together, like, you know, having something good, you know, celebrating each other, celebrating life. Like, we live to the fullest out here. <laughs> it's true. Speaking of birthdays, today hey. is Jennifer's birthday. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, Jennifer. Thank you. I'll show my face. 28 now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hello, brother. Sorry, funny. Let me put my crown on. My brother came home from school just to wish me happy birthday. <laughs> and that's him in the background. Oh. At 12 a.m., by the way. Not not like during the day, in the middle of the night. <laughs> I had to bring you back with me. This is how this family works yep <laughs> <laughs> well happy birthday jennifer Woo! thank you yay <laughs> <laughs> yeah we are so glad that we're able to celebrate this birthday of yours and annette thank you again for this wonderful recipe that I will definitely be trying over and over because that was really good. That was delicious. <laughs> Be time. And I hope that you will definitely join us again for our spring semester. And yes, I will be in contact with you about that and different classes. And like I said, hoping that it's going to be even bigger and coming up with some new classes, new class ideas. So if you have any ideas of what type of classes you would want to teach, feel free to email me and let me know. 
And um, yeah, definitely will incorporate that. So, give me one second. Thank you guys, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Stay dry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it is coming. You definitely jinxed us. Like, it's dark. <laughs> it's windy. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Yeah, so we had a little Jesus bit of rain yesterday. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll make it through. We'll just have to, you know, dance in the rain or something for our birthday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I see rain as a blessing. So, like, I don't, I don't see it as a negative. So. It's the best way to view life. <laughs> stay in the green. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's a, that's a nice thing. Stay in the green. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's from yesterday's class, I think. Yep. For those of you who didn't see yesterday's class, check it out. It's on our uh, CFLF page. And it was, are you okay? And you can check out any of the classes that you've missed through our Cystic Fibrosis Lifestyle Foundation Facebook page. It will all be there. And um, soon it will also be on YouTube. So you can look back on any classes, especially the ones where we're making things. And just in case you didn't have your um, ingredients today, you can always go back and rewatch the class and make one. Well, Make your teas, make your scrubs. It's, it's a great time. So, and be sure to look out for next semester. Uh, should be starting in March of 2022. Uh, we'll be very excited to see you guys there. And I just want to thank all of my teachers for helping out because without you guys, I would have to do this myself. And that's a lot of work. I don't know. So thank you for always being available for me to help me out with Strollo You. And I thank everyone who supports, donates, our, our sponsors, uh, Kiesi. We thank you for making Strollo You continue to go. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your year. Happy holidays to everyone and keep a lookout on other events and the fundraisers that we will have for the CFLA. So thank you again, Annette. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Happy birthday. Thank, thank you, you, Anthony, Sheila Vett, Big Anthony, <laughs> everyone who's participating and watching us. We love you from the CFLF. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, and also I made um, CFLF my um that thing that they have on Facebook to like donate to CFLF oh, awesome. is my course for the month. Woohoo! So if you follow mm -hmm. Jennifer, donate <laughs> for her birthday. Thank you, Yay. everyone. Bye. Bye.